For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is Douglas Allen Frazier with a Valentine's Day message just for you. And I think I just read, without a doubt, the greatest Valentine that you could ever receive. But I've got something else to add to it today that I received, that I received from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit, as I was reading the devotional I have <clears throat> called <clears throat> Sparkling Gems from the Greek. And you're going, oh, wow, that can't be uh, too often. Of course, I don't, I don't know Greek. I mean, it's all Greek to me, but praise the Lord for people that do and study it. And one of those that I have found and been blessed by is Rick Renner. And I have this book, and I want to read to you something that I believe, without a doubt, if you will listen closely and apply what I'm going to share with you, it will make a change in your life. For God's love is poured out in ways for us, for of his people, of his people, and we are his people. We are the apple of his eye. That he has things for us that we don't know about, but he wants to give them to us. And I want to share with you, this is Valentine's Day, speaking of uh, the love uh, of a person for another person. Uh, a man for a woman. I remember growing up, we had Valentine's Day at school, particularly elementary school, where we'd make Valentine's. Oh, we'd bring them and stuff them in a box. And you know, sometimes I can remember some kids didn't get a Valentine from some of their classmates. And that was a, that was a, a tough thing, a tough thing. But you know, God has things for us that he wants to always pour out his love upon us. Now, I want to read you a verse. This comes from James chapter 4, verse 5. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain... The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy. Wow, that's a pretty heavy verse. The words of envy and lust are all put there together. But there is that spirit that dwells within us. It's our own spirit, the spirit of man. And the spirit of man often can find itself getting in trouble for lusting for the wrong things. But have you ever thought about, and I had never thought about, that the Holy Spirit would lust for us, have a great desire, have a great hunger a craving, a yearning for something, a longing, something of intensity that he has. Now let me show you this. There is a Greek word, epipatheo. It's found in James 4, 5 to describe how the Holy Spirit, when it says, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy. The word lust in the verse is from the same Greek word, epipotheo. Only this time, the word is not describing perhaps some form of a painful addiction, but it depicts the Holy Spirit of God. 
So there's something, some object that turns out to be you and me that the Holy Spirit craves for. In fact, it is his desiring of us that is so desperate that it's like the Holy Spirit is crying out, I have to have it. I have to have him or her. I have to have them. I can't wait any longer. So give me, give me what I desire, what I'm yearning to have. Can you imagine the Holy Spirit crying out to have you and me, to come into our life and to show us his love, not only his love, but his power, his leading abilities, his comfort is ours because he loves us and he has to have us. In James 4, 5, the Bible reveals that this is an intense yearning of the Holy Spirit to possess us entirely for himself. You know, Jesus, when he left, told his disciples that I am going to send somebody just like me. I'm going to send a comforter. I'm going to send a guide who will be with you. Jesus knew that the Holy Spirit had a great desire to come, to comfort us, to guide us, to direct us, to pour out the love of God upon us and upon others as we would go and share it. The Holy Spirit is so in love with us that he wants us more and more and more and more and more every day. He wants our time. He wants to spend time with us. He wants our attention. He wants us to hear him and pay attention to what he says or what he shows us when we read the scripture, when we read God's word. God says, I want to give you revelation. Well, that revelation will come as the Holy Spirit gives it to us. He wants our devotion. The Holy Spirit is a person. He wants us to be devoted to him, just as we are to be devoted to our Heavenly Father, just as we are to be devoted to our Lord Jesus Christ. And he wants our fellowship. He wants to be with us. And he wants to know that we want to be with him. He wants us to call upon him. You know, if we deny the Holy Spirit of what he wants, he'll cry out. He'll cry out, I need you. I need you. I want to feel you. I want to empower you and flood you with my life. Never forget, in closing, never forget, the Holy Spirit is a divine lover, a divine comforter, a divine guide, who lives inside of us. He passionately yearns to fulfill his responsibility to Father God, to help us, to teach us, to guide us, and empower us, and comfort us. Will you let Holy Spirit Get what he wants, and what he wants is you. Let me pray this for you today. Help me to be mindful of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you live inside me, and you want to possess me more and more every day. 
Please help me to surrender. To surrender my will, my mind, my emotions to you. That you might take over my life. That you might guide me. That you might be in my presence. And that I might be in your presence. I want to yield to you. I want you to fill me full of every good thing. I need to live a happy, successful, and prosperous life. I want to begin each day by opening myself to you, Holy Spirit. I ask you to fill me anew right now. I thank you for the gift, for this wonderful gift that was given and is mine forever in Jesus' name. Let this be a tremendous lesson, a tremendous word of God that is yours forever and ever and ever. Happy Valentine's Day. May you receive what God wants to give. For in this love, Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. And Holy Spirit wants to be ours day by day by day. And he wants us to be his every hour.